Hi Pisces, it's L here to do your mid uh, March reading. Um, thanks for joining me, guys. Uh, thank you for all the you know all the love shown, the the comments, the su subscribes, all of that stuff, the subscriptions. It's just beautiful, it really is. Okay, all right, let's go. I was checking email, guys. Sorry about that. <laughs> All, right. All right, let's go. I do shuffle and pray over the cards off camera, but we give the cards a quick shuffle, then we get started. Let's go. All right. Two of Swords just, just kept popping out of the deck for you off camera. All right. Ace of Diamonds. Some of you don't know if you want to have this new foundational start with someone. Or you don't know if you'll ever get it with someone. Uh, it could be an Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. If not, it's just like you don't know if you want to move things along to the next level. You don't know if you want to um, move in together. You don't know. Oh, you don't know if you if you're gonna buy a home. If you make a large purchase like that, you don't know if if solidifying a relationship or um, a situation will happen. You need to make some decisions around relationship or a particular relationship or a particular situation. A situation could be, like I said, purchasing a home. Um, a new job offer. You need to make a decision around that. Right. There'll be rapid communication and things will move fast with the eight of club here. This also talks about trouble in relationship due to jealousy and or greed. Uh, the communication about the trouble. You, you know you need to make a decision about do I move forward? Do I solidify something that is just not happening there's trouble here but you want success in home and marriage but you might have to do the adverse of the five of pinnacle or what the five of diamond would be in the right away tarot would be you might have to you know cut something out or cut someone out or cut yourself out you know x yourself out And that could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. All right, that one really wanted to come out. Four of Swords. Yeah, you're going to have to take a, a mental break from this. Pray about it. Meditate about it. Might even have to take a break from a relationship. You need to gain clarity and stability here. In the midst of this, you're waiting for something. Some of you could be waiting for messages about a situation, waiting to make a decision. Seven of you're waiting. There could be good news here. You've planted seed here, but somebody is deceptive. It could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that you need to make a decision about. You're being prayerful about it. Could be a earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Someone is, uh, you need to lose this friendship. You need to lay down the burden that is this person or this situation. Okay. Right. Ten of spades. Because they have disappointed you and in, in disregarded your feelings, your thoughts recently in the past, you know that they're capable of this. They have e either done it or they will do it. Because we have the three sevens here. God is trying to tell you something. Um, you're still waiting for things to turn around. But it doesn't look like this person is trying to turn anything around. If anything, they're trying to devise a plan of action against. I don't want to say against you. But just against. Against the grain. Against the positivity. Against what could be. Uh, maybe because they are the unfaithful spouse. They give nothing or 
they make promises just to break them, just broken promises, the unfaithful spouse. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have the two of diamond, the love affair or business relationship not approved of. A love affair is never approved of unless, you know, you're single, but um, it might be someone else in the equation. And that's why uh, this is the unfaithful spouse. This is the liar, the cheat, the sneak. But you're still trying to hold on to this with the four diamond. You may even be receiving a large sum of money here. It could be, like I said, this air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is Gemini, but this could be Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. You wanted new love and new marriage with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Or you need to take on the energy of the Queen of Swords. Cut it out. King of Swords. King of Swords doesn't even... They don't even waste time. They don't even play with you if you don't, if you're not, you're not upstanding. You're not honest. You're not truthful. You're not forthcoming. Um, when I say that, it's you know a lot of people will say, well, you have to get to know somebody to know if they're all of those things. The King of Swords knows. Like his intuition is on point. His intuition is on point because he's a great read of person. Not just by way of intuitive, intuitively knowing in the sense of, um, uh, in the sense of knowing by way of spirit and being very spiritual, though he can tap into that, he's very logical, he's very rational. He can study the, he studied the science of, of people, um, you might need to take on that energy with the jack of hearts here reliable loving honest person this may be you pisces you need to become single nine of diamonds you need to be the woman or the man in waiting it looks like you are waiting this is also being restless in your current job because there's business opportunity elsewhere and then there's partnership legal issues for you uh, Pisces King of Hearts There's partnership There's growth Somewhere else There's what you love to do somewhere else You can make a business out of this But you're, you're Hesitant, you're all up in your mind about it. You don't know if it, how you can do it How it can happen You're still dealing with a love situation That's That's, that's kaput You just need to put it down Lots of energy there. Lots of messages. I like the King of Swords. The King of Swords is right under the Emperor. Now we know the Emperor is above all the kings of the land. Um, he's right, excuse me, he's right below. Um, the King of Swords is right below the Emperor. The Emperor is right above the King of Swords. Um, you know, if the Emperor dies, then the King of Swords is the Emperor. You know? Uh, you might have to just take on that energy of no nonsense. Like, King of Swords doesn't play. Like, it's a very, very, you know, calculating, stern, strong will strong mind person but you know there's a level of compassionate compassion to the king of swords is always about the collective so some of you might need to take on that energy let's see what else is out here for my Pisces I hadn't eaten anything today that's why I'm feeling weak do I have a snack no. I don't have anything to eat here in my office. Uh, 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 poor me. Hang on, guys. I need to look for a snack. Hang on. Oh, I got a bottle of water. Great. That will not do the trick. 
anyway, um, back to you, Pisces, because that's what matters, right? All right, what are the energies for Pisces? Any love messages, career messages? Thank you for the messages for Pisces. I'm going to take these. King of Swords, Justice. What did I say? Some of you might be divorcing the King of Swords. This is this is typically Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Aquarius, Libra. Could be Gemini, because right, I almost said it. But for... And typically, this is Aquarius or uh, Libra. Then we have the Libra card right next to it. Some of you could be dealing with the Libra, the legal system, going through the divorce proceedings. Uh, you could work in the legal field. You could be an attorney. You could work with attorneys. You could be a uh, practitioner. I don't know why I'm hearing that. You need to make a decision. A decision. A final decision. Universe is bringing it back around. It's nothing but burden here. Don't take to the opportunity. Don't take to the offer. Make a final decision. That's what the King of Swords did. He cut all BS out. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords cuts all the BS out. The King of Swords, you can't even get next to him. If you, you are fake and phony and you're a BS person, like, good luck. Nine of, nine of Pentacles again. You have the Nine of Diamonds and the other spread. Um, some of you may be becoming single, choosing to not take an offer, staying single, awaiting real partnership, not desperate, just uh, awaiting something that, that uh, fulfills you on an emotional, mental, physical, spiritual level. You've done a lot of work. You also, uh, your money looks good here. With the nine of diamond, uh, knight of cups, right? Uh, definitely aren't offering love to anyone up here. The knight of cups is looking away from a uh, court card. Six of cups, knight of cups. Situation could involve children. Could involve someone from your past. Maybe you're, you're awaiting the opportunity to offer love to someone from the past. But you're on guard. You're ready to do battle. Like if you need to. Wow. In regards to a relationship. Solidifying a relationship. Maybe with a Capricorn. I knew it was coming up in the tower. Okay, so what it is is that you guys need to make a final decision. Are you going to, oh, that came in strong. Are you going to keep being the other woman or the other man? Are you going to lay, lay this down and stop taking to what's offered it doesn't even fulfill you you're bored here anyway are you going to be the single woman single man awaiting real partnership awaiting the opportunity to give love to some something that fulfills you on a soul level to a real soulmate or are you going to keep defending this relationship that you'll never find solidarity in? you'll never solidify it because there's three people here and this person already has built a life with someone else while leaving you out to be the empress. Beautiful, abundant, creative, loving, but yet still single and never getting that, that solid relationship. The universe is going to bring the tower down for you. Another tower moment. Another issue, another unfore unforeseen, unsuspecting issue. It leaves you stuck, feeling stuck. Feeling like there's no way out of this love affair that you don't even get all the intention in. It might just be sex only. It doesn't reciprocate. 
at times you feel like there's happiness here and that's why you keep evaluating this situation but you evaluate the burden but you go right back to it the moon is here saying look do you want to keep being somebody's secret do you want to have real fulfillment the nine of cups wish fulfillment true actual love i'm hearing some of you need love for self you need to leave behind this partnership grieve this third party situation because it very well could be the potential messages of stabil stability elsewhere some victory here for you maybe with the queen of wands aries sagittarius leo even marriage and promotion promoting yourself up to the level that you you need to be at for some of you so, i just got another message mm. Some of you are telling a partner you're pregnant or you want to become pregnant. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Lord, I want a good spread, Lord. Ugh. Okay. All right, let's do some... We'll do one last spread for career and finance. And uh, then we'll do some advice cards. And then we're out of here, you know. Because what we're going to do is let the spring equinox, the third month of the year, divinity, come in. Take what needs to leave. Keep what needs to stay. And we're going to move forward in victory and effortlessly. I'm tired. I want to just like read for all 12 signs one month and like everybody gets a good spread. I know. It ain't going to happen. <laughs> but can a girl want? All right. Here we go. All right. Career and finance for my Pisces. Something's jumping. Seven of Wands. You gotta defend yourself. Maybe at work. Maybe you defend it. You're tired too. Ooh, I just that felt strong. Tired. Tired. I'm tired and I want to do my own thing. But I feel tied to either Leo. I feel tied to my job. I feel tied to yeah i feel tied to my job i don't see any way out of this god is telling you to stay prayerful get connected to him he's going to show you the way out you connected to source source energy you, you when you wake up in the morning this is what i've been doing i wake up okay you know let me just be honest i'm always late i'm working on it guys anyway um i wake up in the morning even though i'm running late um i wake up there's a, a chair by my bed i sit in my chair i put on my nature tunes they're probably already on anyway because i sleep with that type of stuff on and I just close my eyes and I try to meditate. Is it hard? Yes, because you're thinking about everything you need to do. You even thinking about how you late. Some you late just like me. Um, but it is important to check in with self, check in with spirit. That's when you get those messages early in the morning. Those messages of love and light. The messages of what you need to do to clarity, the truth and clarity. See, when you're busy during during the day. And you're here and you're there and you're talking to people and you got all kinds of energy at you and coming at you and you coming at other people with all kind of energy. Spirit, God, can't speak to you. He speaks through us through our thoughts. Um, he's a very intellectual God that we serve. Um, so he speaks through us through our thoughts, but if our thought pro process, if our thought patterns are clouded, you can't speak. You're not listening anyway. So... What I'm saying is wake up in the morning. 
Mm, this is your card too. Wake up in the morning. Sit if you can and just try to meditate. Try to listen to what comes to you. Especially, I'm hearing some of y'all are really confused out here. Some of my Pisces are really confused about a situation. Sit, 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 be quiet, listen. Because it, the messages are coming to you. Wow, sit, and she's sitting, and then here's the message. The Page of Cups brings the messages. Sit, man. Man, I really prayed before uh, you guys was reading too. Just like God will really download some messages to me for you. Because I don't know none of that. I don't know what's going on in your house, but he does. Um, Queen and King of Wands. We got, we got a couple here. We got two people either mirroring each other's energy or we have a couple. We have a relationship, a long-standing relationship. Um, you don't know what to do about this. It's three people. You don't, you don't know what to do about this third party situation. It's, it's affecting your work. Mm, wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups. Some of y'all drinking too. If not drinking, trying to have your wish fulfilled. You're wondering if it's going to happen. Hmm. Six of Swords. Eight of, ooh, eight of cups, five of pentacles. Somebody's leaving? Who's leaving? Who's leaving? Who's leaving, Lord God? Who's leaving the situation? Eight of pentacles, king of swords, ooh. Did that king of swords again? Looks like. Oh, I'm just hearing this. These couples are doing, this couple right here, the king and queen, they're doing their own thing. They're not even concerned about each other or with each other. They're trying to solidify their own endeavors outside of each other, outside of the relationship. Somebody is having a wish to be fulfilled that they can walk away, leave the relationship because messages of stability are elsewhere with someone else, maybe a earth sign. Um... Maybe this air sign is trying to leave, or you're trying to leave the air sign. It's uh, this is career and finance. Oh, them ten of dime, ten of pentacles. So yeah, somebody's trying to leave what's already. Then the well, somebody's trying to leave what's already established, because there are messages of stability elsewhere. And then we have the ace of pentacles. Then we have the four. Uh, four of rods, and then the ace of cups, and then the knight of cups, and then the two. Whoa! I want some of this. This looks good. <laughs> Bless me, guys. Sorry, guys. Uh, wow. I don't know who this is for. I don't know who this is with, but Pisces, it looks like you know where you want to be. It might not be where you are right now. You might be in a karmic situation. You might have some addiction here. You might feel codependent in a relationship. There might be a third party situation going on here. You want out. I think the other person that you're with wants out also. There's messages of stability. Of love. Of reciprocating love. This is who you want right here. And God is telling you to sit down and he can give you some messages. You can get some wish fulfillment. It's, I don't know. Well, y'all get in the comments. Let me know what, what the heck is going on. That looks really good, though. I want all of those cards in that order. Like right now, okay. I need to have them right now. Stop playing with me. All right, messages of additional messages of support and guidance from the Butterfly Oracle deck. Love this deck. 
Thank you for messages for Pisces. What should they do? I'm hearing a lot of Pisces out there are confused about which way they should go. There's a lot of confusion. Um, there's a lot of defending. Trying to defend something. Defend your stance. Defend the reason why. Defend the relationship. Um, career and finance. I keep going back to that. I don't know why career and finance looks good. In a sense of, it, it, the only sense, it, it, wow, and then new career. That's why I kept going back to it. Looks like, yes, yeah, some of you will get some messages downloaded to you as to what you need to do in, in your career and finance sector. Definitely in your career. You're not, there is lack there. You are unfulfilled. You get some messages of how you can move into fulfillment, emotional fulfillment, personally in your career, and then of course, the pentacles come. Uh, pursue what you love to do, and then the money will come behind it because you love doing it. So that's for career and finance. Some of you, I'm hearing that like you, the relationship type stuff is messing with you so much on an emotional, mental, physical level that you. You're still operating in your career, in your job, but it's really bothering you. Like it's it's rattling you. It's you know you 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 you're frazzle dazzle. Like come on, get it together. Like make the decision. A decision is just that a decision. What you gonna do? You cut yourself out, or you cut somebody else out? All right, all right. So new career for some of you. It looks like you're gonna have that by way of this. Wow, this self-employment, and we have the queen and the king, a diamond of uh, blah, 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 fire, the rods. Those are our entrepreneurs of the zodiac. Some of you are really like, okay, I don't know which way to go on this. You know, pray, meditate. Pray and meditate. Pray and meditate. You don't know which way to go. Pray and meditate. What I did not see is the magician pop out. You don't have all the tools you need right now. You don't have everything. But it's like I'm hearing that some of you got to get connected to source, whatever you believe in, so that they can guide you. There's some things in this life we cannot do on our own. You know, what's the saying? I forget who said it. Uh, you know, it's it's for us to do the possible, but it's for God to do the impossible. So there's some things where we're gonna need help with. You gotta concede to that. You gotta, you know, have that humility enough within yourself to say, you know what? I'm trusting source on this. Join in, join in different organizations that'll help you get to this new career, this self-employment. We'll take these two. Be true to you. If that's what you want to do, do it. That's all I heard. Dietary change. Some of you need to change your diet. We all do leaving. You might be leaving a job. You might be leaving a marriage. You might be leaving. You're leaving something. You're going. And it's causing you to be frazzle dazzle. Like you're just all over the damn place. It's just, you know, it's center yourself. Center yourself by meditating. Sit with yourself. Let those messages come in to you of how you need to move. When spirit feel like they can move with you, they move. When you all over the place, they bow out. Like, I can't deal with that. All right, so if these messages resonated with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. I love doing this. I love the feedback that I get. It's 99% positive. We Oh, you got the 1%. Oh, we have the 1%. Yes, we do. And you know what I do with the 1%? Mute, delete. I don't got time for that. I really don't. I really don't. No one has time for that. And then also, you know, if, you, if you're going to waste your time with leaving negative comments, either it's critiquing me or, uh, or uh, you're posting that the, the reading didn't resonate with you, um, I think I speak for all of us. We don't care. And it's not in a very negative, facetious type of way. It's just that 
we're all we're looking we're all here probably looking for guidance and some clarity we would like to not read that this didn't resonate with you and we don't want to read some negative comment about whatever we, we, we really don't care okay if you don't have anything to, that will shed clarity and light please stop we got time for it all right one percenters all right anyhow all of my information is below if you would like to schedule a personal reading with me thank you pisces take care guys